we have about how different liquids affect Gary Bears and liquids. We wanted to investigate how different liquids affect Gary Bears and liquids. Uh, we all know when you put a Gary Bear in water, it will grow bigger and bigger until you take it out. But we don't know what's really in the Gary Bear. Uh, but how does liquid affect gelatine and what does it do about it and how about the other ingredients? That's what we're trying to find out. We wanted to find out why gummy bears grow bigger in water and what causes it and what is and it is the same as in the other liquids. For example, when we make pudding, you put a lot of gelatin in it, but what is it made of? That's why we chose liquids and the gummy bears to put in different liquids because of the gelatin which is inside them. We thought that gummy bears will get bigger in water and the licorice will stay the same. In vinegar and Coca-Cola, will gummy bears and licorice probably be destroyed because of the low pH level? But the licorice will not be as destroyed as in the gummy bears. In milk, we thought that it would stay the same size and there would be leftovers from the chalk in the milk. Um, in salt water, we thought that they would grow or there would be well, not having anything at all. We put one liquid and one gummy bag in each of five glasses. We have five different liquids. Water, salt water, vinegar, Coca-Cola and milk. Uh, then we wait 24 hours. After 24 hours we will measure them in the height, width and in depth. Um, and then we measure the difference between the candy and we do the experiment three times to get the accurate numbers. Um, the things we used in the project was five plastic cups or regular cups, five gummy bears, five salty liquors uh, called piratas, um, five, 0.5 diesel liter of the things I mentioned now, vinegar, Coca-Cola, salt water, water, milk, and then we repeat three times. Um, we um, have a diagram which shows Right here, that shows um, which different um, everyday liquids you have in your home, which pH level it has. Um, then the diary for the liquids. What really surprised us was the liquids in the salt water looked bigger than the other ones in vinegar and Coca-Cola. Um, they did not dissolve the liquids more than the water or uh, milk. And when you took the liquids up with the fork, it fell totally apart. The milk um, was, after 24 hours, a bit white in the outer circle. Uh, and in vinegar, Coca-Cola and tap water, they all look the same. Um, so it's pretty weird. Uh, in salt water, um, the salt and the water were on the upper surface, as you might see here. Um, and the liquids were actually bigger. Nu går vi lige over stand til dagbogen fra vores eksperiment med vingøringer. Først målte vi tre vingøringer, og så tog vi gennemsnit af det, for at finde det præcise tal. Vi målte, at det var 2,1 i højden, 1,1 i bredden og 1,3 cm i dybden. Så tog vi 15 vingøringer, har vi på gulvbærs og 15 plastikkopper. Vi har fem forskellige væsker, som før. Mælk, vand, saltvand, eddike og kokokola. Der er fem 1,5 dl af hver væske. Vi skal bruge 0,5 dl i hver kop. Vi hældte væskene i hver sin kop. Bagefter puttede vi indgummi i hver kop. Vi ventede 24 timer, og det er de timer, hvor vi gået, måtte vi, øh, hvor store, måtte vi, hvor store vingummerne var blevet. Øh, vingummerne er vokset i alle væskene. I mælk vokser vingummerne 0,7 cm i højden, 0,1 cm i bredden, og det blev faktisk mindre med 0,2 cm i dybden. Vingummerne var ikke så gummiagtige, som de blev i hver sal, hvad man havde i vand voksede vingummen 1,5 cm højden, 1,2 cm bredden og 1,2 cm dybden, og det var let at ødelægge. I saltvand voksede den 0,9 cm højden, 0,2 cm i bredden, og den voksede ikke i dybden. Og det var altså meget mindre end i vand og Coca-Cola, og det var også meget let at ødelægge. I eddike voksede den 1,5 cm højden, 1 cm bredden og 0,8 cm dybden, og det var let at ødelægge. En af fædderne på vingummen var blevet længere end den anden, hvilket var lidt mærkeligt. 
Vi kunne kunne have vokset den 1,5 cm højden, 1,4 cm bredden og 1,2 cm dybden. Og det var ikke så dumme af, som var vand satte med vejret igen. Den, der var revner at gå ind, så var fyldt op øh, med gode kugle. Og der faldt faldet stykker af ørerne, armene og hovedet. Det var ret mærkeligt, men øh, vi havde lidt regnet med det, fordi den havde sådan en lav pH-værdi. Øh, vi kan altså konstatere, at bingommen i Coca-Cola er blevet størst, hvilket over os, overrasker os meget, fordi at pH-værdien er meget lav, så den burde et til. Øhm, så var vi lidt nysgerrige, så vi øh, var inde på Rebos hjemmeside og var ved at finde ud af, hvad der faktisk er i en vingummi. Og det er øh, her, altså nu, hvor vi skal spørge jer, øh, om der er nogen, der ved, hvad der er af nogle ting, som man måske ikke har regnet med i vingummibremser. Er nogen, der ved en speciel ingrediens? Ja. Ja. Det har du helt ret i. Andre? Den bider ikke. Kom bare. Øh, nej, det står der ikke. Øh, så øh, der er faktisk øh, nogle specielle ting i. Øh, vi fandt ud af, at der er øh, bivoks i. Og det er altså... Øh, når man tager ned på en bifarm, og det der honning, der er i de der vægge der, det der, den væg, det er faktisk noget af det, som der er i vinkummibamser. Noget af det, man smører vinkummibamser med. Øhm, og så er der bilboks i. Det, du bokser dine biler med, for at gøre dem rigtig skinnende, den pensler du altså også vinkummibamser med, for at de ikke skal klistre i posen, når det bliver varme. Øh, en anden ting er, at der er en tropisk algeart i. Og hvis nogen kender, at de har kaniner derhjemme, eller marsvin, eller hamster eller noget, så, så er det nogle gange sådan en lille grøn kant på den der flaske øh, vand, de får. Det er alger, og øh, det er en bestemt algetype, der hedder agar-agar. Øh, før 80'erne, der fundede de øh, en gummiart fra træer i. Øh, i vindgummierne, fordi den skulle være gummiagtig. Men nu putter de husplads i. Øh, vi har så lavet et diagram, som I kan se her, som viser, øh, hvor, hvad pH-værdien er. Øh, I eddike, altså vindegang, øh, der er 20, the lowest, and in salt water, it has the highest pH level because it's 8, but of course water has the pH level of 7 and that's neutral. And um, in the other diagram under it, uh, then it, show, it shows uh, the size of the gummy bear in centimeters. Uh, you can see on the diagram that uh, Coca-Cola has uh, grown bigger and uh, the milk is the one grown in this. So our conclusion is that we found out the gummy bears glow, grow in all our liquids, but it acts differently uh, with the size, color and softness. Um, liquids become more liquid-like and fall apart when you remove it from the liquid with a fork. Uh, the pH level of our liquid, um, if we found out that, we could see if it makes a difference in size and form. Uh, what we learned? We learned that Coca-Cola is bad for everybody because if you the gummy bear, then it will probably also ruin you. We cannot say it enough times. Coca-Cola is bad for everybody. We all know it, but we still drink it, and that might be because of the flavor. Um, we also learned that liquids, uh, there is not as much gelatin in it than there is in gummy bears because the gummy bears grew much more. Um, it's, we learned it's much important to repeat the experiment three times or more to get the proper result. Um, we also learned new words, especially from the ingredients in the gummy bears. And we learned that gummy bears are truly disgusting. Um, then we have a list of people we would like to thank. Um, and 
yeah, we would like to thank everybody who has helped us with the project. We would like to say a special thank you to Mette from 9th grade because um, she offered us the board to, yeah, and um, it really saved us a lot of time. Uh, we'd like to thank Dylan for helping us understand the project and Mihaela for teaching us how to make a proper experiment. Then we'd also like to thank our parents for supporting us in the project and uh, we'd like to thank Camilla Schaller-Storsenstadt.